we are for the first time going to try a long cycles animation here. For those who are not aware of cycles, cycles is basically one of the render engine which comes with Blender along with Eevee. Cycles is actually a physically based rendering engine that is it follows real time physics laws like light, the reflections and everything. So it is kind of intensive on the CPU and GPU and that's the reason it is dramatic because a single decent quality frame in cycles takes around 4 to 5 minutes to render on my laptop. So it is going to be fun to see how far it goes and how much time would it take to render a good long animation. Second reason is I've made certain changes to the video format kind of trying something new. So please do watch it till end and do let me know if you like it if you enjoy it. The third reason is the animation which we are going to try today that's actually super easy to follow. So do give it a try and let me know how it works out for you. So in a nutshell it's basically getting the car model setting up the scene and shoot. Well, all you have to do is simply Google free car model blender and you have these amazing sites offering these amazing free to download 3D models. I have this car model with me and this is what we are going to be using. Bridge is one another amazing thing I explored. It's basically an application which has a good number of assets like surfaces, textures, models available to be downloaded for free. And exporting these assets into Blender is as simple as a simple click. If you need me to make a short and sweet tutorial about Bridge and how to use it, do let me know in the comments. So now we have the car model with us. We have bridge to provide the surface texture and that's all we need. Now to import the car object into Blender, all we have to do is file, append. Let's go to the object and we need to select all of the objects here by clicking A and append. And there we have our car. Let's scale it down. Now let's go ahead and add a plane which would be serving as the base. Scale it accordingly the way we want the base to be. Now let's go ahead and assign some texture to the base plane and we'll be using bridge for that all you have to do is select the surface which you want to export download it and export in blender we can select the plane we can go to material and under this icon you will find the newly exported material and this is the one let's go to the render view let's go ahead and add lights so the idea is to add simple light bars for that all we have to do is create a new plane shape it into a bar let's go ahead and add emission material to it new let's change it to emission the color okay let's go ahead and duplicate the light bars so that it provides a good even lighting that's all for the lighting let's go ahead and change it to cycles and see how it looks the render properties change it to cycles and this is how it's coming out to be let's go ahead and change the background color to black i think it looks good now let's work on getting a smooth camera movement Performing a smooth camera movement in Blender, it's actually a pretty neat trick. Let's go ahead and add a camera. So this is where the camera is. Let's actually change the total number of frames to 1000 maybe. That would give us a good breathing space to work with. Let's select the camera. Let's go to view and under the navigation, we need to make sure that we are using the walk navigation. This would help us move the camera with the buttons AWSD the way we do in gaming. Under the timeline, let's make sure that the auto keying is turned on. Let's start the timeline and let's move the camera. So it basically starts assigning keyframes to the camera movement. So this is how the animation is. It of course looks a lot more jittery. And now let's go ahead and smoothen it out a little bit. Let's change the view to graph editor. Now there are two things which we will be doing. One is filling out the missing keyframes and then smoothening it out. For that all you have to do is key and sample keyframes. That will automatically fill out the blank keyframes here. And then key smooth keys. The shortcut for that is Alt O. We will be clicking Alt O a couple of times. probably. 30 to 40 times and now if you play the animation it should look a lot more smoother and that is what we need let's go back to the timeline view and we are done with setting up the scene let's go ahead and render this since cycle is pretty intensive on cpu and gpu we will be making certain tweaks in settings to reduce the overall render time go ahead and change the render engine to cycles and let's go to the rendered view under the sampling let's change the total number of max samples to 100 under the light paths let's make sure that the reflective and refractive are unchecked Let's change the value of total, diffuse, glossy, transmission and transparent all to 1. 
Under the device, make sure that we are using GPU compute and under performance, let's change the tile size to 512. Now let's go to the output properties. I'm going to go with the default resolution and the frame rate. The file format, change it to FFmpeg video. The encoding needs to be MPEG4, that is MP4. And the output quality would be perceptually lossless. And we are good to render. So let's catch up after a couple of hours maybe. I think it was a fun session. We saw how to get free models for ourselves. We saw how to set up a scene, how to use those models, how to set up a smooth camera movement. I think that's amazing. That's all for this video. I do hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.